This is quite an interesting one here on loading in. Certain features of terrain might yield benefits or trade-offs. For example, a sheltered gully may provide a heat bonus, but will accumulate squalor faster. So that's something I actually haven't seen yet, anything to do with like terrain benefits or bonuses. Uh, I did notice on watching some of the footage back, I've had some time in between episodes now to go through some of the feedback, um, I actually can't really show it now, but if we were to build a district, I, I just can't at the moment. When I was building out things on these tiles, you actually see a little pip filling up with heat to give you the bonuses for whether or not you're close to the generator or close to other houses. So there is actually a little bit more thought to the placement than I initially thought. I thought you just had to be bordering at least one tile, but there are benefits for bordering multiple, so you could do a little bit better than I did there. Now, on pressing Alt, I thought we could just get re-familiarized with the overall situation that we currently face. We have a whiteout that's about 15 weeks away, so it's going to be on week 190. We're currently on 173, day 7, so we're just, you know, the weeks are flying by, of course. We're over halfway through the demo already, which just has me yearning for more, really. But, um, yeah, so if we just have a look at this menu really quickly, holding Alt, we can see the different colors of the district. So yellow would be extraction districts, right? So we have basically two material extraction so basically this one here and then we've got this one here so they're both doing extraction some people in the comments are wondering like is you know are wood and steel just combined now they kind of are right our overall resource called materials is a combination of the two but there are actually some delineating factors on whether or not you're on an iron deposit or a wood deposit and that comes into play when you look at the tech screen which is... Oh, it's actually offline right now because our housing... Anyway, we'll get to that. But the housing district's offline. That has the, ha the research institute, so I can't even access the research screen right now. But anyway, in the research screen, I've seen various researches for buildings that can go into... Like, you know, the mechanized sawmill. You're not going to be putting that on the ironworks. So there's actually different buildings for the different deposits. But it is true that they do ultimately combine into the same resource called materials. But coal is still a separate thing. We know we're going to be getting oil later down the line, so I wouldn't, you know, worry about that too much. It's been interesting watching a lot of the feedback. It's very split. Not on specifically my videos, but just the game's direction overall. And I can see why. It is a radical departure from what it was. And when I first saw Hexes, my eyes were rolling. I was like, what the hell is this? But it's really just won me over on the atmosphere. The kind of politics is really the focus this time. That whole council mechanic, the idea of getting... <laughs> ideas instead of technologies and then having to kind of pick and choose which different faction which idea they're going to go with and you might not want that but you have to kind of appease them otherwise there's protests i just think that's super neat um so i'm just i'm down for it so i i also think it would have been cool to have a more traditional frostpunk 2 built off of the old game because this is very much like a 4x game now almost with this much wider grander strategy overall i guess but it is different. It's no longer, you know, you zoom all the way in, you see the little people and doing the different things. That's why I thought it was kind of cool, at least, when you're in the council, you can zoom right in, see individual people. But of course, it is just like these vignettes, you know, almost like models in a way, the way they kind of freeze frame there and it tells you a little about them. Does that affect anything? I don't know. It's interesting. Would you ever be able to rename them? Can you find out things from them later on? I would almost like a bit more of the personal touch per faction. It'd be kind of cool if you could see a generalized feeling of these different people and what they're kind of, what they, basically, they have these traits of what they've been through and everything, but you think there must be some reason for that. Can we see an effect somewhere, or is it just set dressing? Is it just descriptions for the fun of it? Anyway, going way off topic, let's play the game. So, basically, like I said, the whiteout is on the way. It's around the corner. I just want to reassess the situation right now. So that protest has ended, and because the protest ended, or sorry, while it was going on in this food district here, I turned on this food district instead so that we can keep things going while they were kind of having a bit of a, a bit of a whinge over there, right? While they were having a tantrum. Uh, but we solved it really quickly with a sort of bribe, so that was all fine. But that means now we don't have enough workforce to keep all of our districts on. So we'll have to turn this one, I guess, back off. And then we'll turn the research district back on. And that keeps the institute on as well. I say research district, it's really a housing district. So if we press Alt here, I actually really like this, but unfortunately a lot of the UI does overlap on itself. So again, it's kind of like, I wish I could see the color map of our districts, maybe a little info, and then maybe there's something you could press or hover over to see the expanded info. I don't know. I need to kind of work on that, because it's obviously just 
super overlapping. I'm not sure if it can really help you with information too much. But anyways, so just to get re-familiar again, right? So we have these four extraction districts. We've got wood on the right, iron on the left. We've got coal in the north and coal in the south. We have one logistics, or sorry, um, industry district making our goods. It's not making enough though right now. And then we have two logistics district, the kind of uh, light blue color over in the top right, and then the bottom left, and then the kind of greenish Cyan, cyan color. I never know how to say that word. C-Y-A-N, cyan. It just always sounds wrong. That kind of light blue teal color in here, that's all the housing district that we have right now. Right, so things are actually pretty good. There's not really much any, there's no cold at the moment. Hunger is good, stable. Squalor is getting increased because of our machines that we have in the extractor districts. And then crime is increased because scarcity of goods. So I'd like to get more goods, right? So we have, oh, we actually have this already, do we? I can barely remember what I've done already. So Refurbishing fa goods factory. So we've got the... Ref okay, so we already did do that. So can we build that right now? Let's open up our industrial. Ah, so there it is. So we need 400 workforce in order to place this into the industrial district. And that would basically bring us up to the amount of goods that we need. We're lacking 19. And this will provide an additional 30. So we'll have a surplus. But more people are going to be coming in soon. No doubt. So, you know, it's obviously going to be a problem for the future. So I'm just thinking out loud now. I'm just trying to figure out what direction I'm going to go in here. I didn't really do any pre-planning beyond where we're at. I guess we'll just let time play. I don't really see anything too wrong so far. We're building up a stockpile of materials. That's totally good. Coal is building up its stockpile up to 60,000 because we have the extra stockpile active. Oh, yeah. If we just take a look at the Frostland really quickly, we know that we have the coal coming in from here. Uh, 200 to our resource bar, so there's 39 weeks left of it. And then here, we're getting an additional 70 food coming in right now. That's all well and good, but I think when the whiteout happens, you know, it's mentioned that it's going to blow over certain deposits. It actually says in the tooltips before the game that it doesn't cover everything. It can cover over just certain things, so it's kind of dynamic and it can throw you off. Uh, I'm sure for the demo or this first one here, it's just going to blitz over the town and probably... I would imagine these deposits, so they're going to go offline. The question is, do the teams survive out there? Do I have to recall them? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. There's five available teams right now, and that's the other thing I'd like to get researching while we have some time here, is um, improved logistics. So we have logistics bays. So the foragers, machinists, ice bullets. So there's two types of building, right? There's the vanguard logistics bay, or there's the automated logistics bay. One is going to give us more frostland teams, but require more workers. Yeah, I'd actually go with that. So that's going to appease the foragers or the ice bloods. Right now we are very much in favor with the technocrats, but these guys aren't too unhappy. They were sort of protesting, so maybe we'll lean their way just a little bit here. Um, so let's do that. So foragers, ice bloods. I, n I never know, is it better to go with one or the other? Let's go with the ice bloods, because they're the ones that actually protested. All right, so we developed that idea. We need support. We need to support the steward now, says an ice bullet out there. Right, and if we check our council really quickly in the survival tab, unregulated worker shifts. Yeah, yeah. So I'm starting to remember now, so... Oh no, I thought we had a notice notification for this. I guess not. Why is it... Um, why is there a little pip on it? I'm not too sure. Small step towards progress. Supported by the machinists and the technocrats. Squalor is marginally increased for machine-adjusted shifts. I'll tell you what, we'll just throw it out there, let them vote on it, Work for oh, actually, workforce requirement is slightly decreased. Yeah, we need that. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need that because that's what we're struggling with. So we would have to maybe put some pressure on. We could use our trust. Should we try that? We'll pressure the delegates. So pressure the hesitant delegates, which will sway them towards supporting the law. The more trusted you are, the more effective it will be. So there's, there's 40 against us. It's kind of a lot, and we're trying to pressure the 29 in between, but they might not all go with us. So how many do we need? We need 20 of them, 20 of the 29. So basically two thirds. Let's see if it works. Let's just try it out. Relations with all communities will worsen doing that though. Oof. Is it worth burning some bridges with the favorable machinists or technocrats? Let's give it a go. Okay, we just about clinched it. 56, got five votes ahead. I'm now just tolerated. Let's go ahead with the vote. I'm going to check that screen afterwards and see how they in each individually feel then. The Sorry for taking a while here at the beginning. Just getting re-familiar. Hopefully it actually might help some people who are getting uh, caught up as well. All right, so machine-adjusted adjust shifts are enacted. A new law regarding worker shifts takes effect. 
So we've got 565 available now. So can we pop this back on? No, we're so close. Well, we can't. But with the extra workers, maybe we can get that building. I didn't actually check. How much is it? It's only 400 workforce, but when we get the heat stamps in another week, we should be able to build that, and then we'll be making enough goods, therefore reducing crime. All right, we'll let time play then. Now, the other thing I'd like to do is build a um, another logistics district here, although the storm is coming, so I guess it's not that important that we have it going right now. Ooh, we did bring these guys down to skeptical, though, unfortunately, but we are researching one of their ideas, so hopefully when it's done, we can floor or... Um, yeah, I think it has to be passed in the council, doesn't it? And then... Well, actually, I don't know, because it's a building. You might be able to just build it any... Yeah, no, it's just a building, right? Sorry, excuse me. I'm just getting a bit confused. Because there's ideas, like the worker shift idea, right? And when they propose the idea, it's not a building we get to use. It's something that has to be voted on. But the other ones, some other ones, are actual buildings. And you can place down the building. So I just got a bit confused there for a second. I'll right, we'll just speed it up. Oh, we have enough now, actually. So let's get that built. So the refurbishing goods factory... Let's go with it. Right in here in the industrial sector, in the heart of the industrial sector. Another thing that might be, maybe it's just because I took a step away, but I was going to say, I don't remember who this is aligned with. Oh, it is aligned with the Ice Bloods as well. So they're skeptical. So hopefully building that maybe appeases them slightly or it has a little notch on the uh, semicircle here. Yeah, so it's been decreased by pressuring the delegates recently. But other things have it being increased. And then their overall thing is decreased by opposition to the city favoring progress and equality. Okay, so maybe it'll climb a little bit when this building gets done. We have a message. Lack of workforce steward. There's a lack of spare labor in the city. We're all stretched thin. It may be wise to seek laws or transport structures that'll help get us more... Uh, help us get more done. Otherwise, we may have to prioritize what work gets done. Which districts stay open and which we close for now. Mm -hmm. What do you think we've been doing? Huh? Have you been paying attention at all? Is there anything we can do with this rally and cash in more favor again or something? They're assisting research at the moment. We could request funds, actually, and get more money out of them if we wanted to get more projects done right now. But there's nothing we can do, actually, with the workforce as it is. There's nothing extra we can build. I'm just trying to sort out the one deficit we have right now before the storm hits, which is 10 weeks away. All right, we got the building done. We can see it working away in there. So now we're stockpiling 18 per day, 18 goods per day. The next population boost is not coming for another, well, it doesn't actually say in weeks, but it's only 50% through right now. All right. So has this helped at all, adding that building? Doesn't really seem like it. Kind of wish it was in there, but it doesn't seem like they care. We went with your method though, but all right. Fair enough. Now, uh, we could always do things to let the ice bullets choose the next law to be voted on in the council. Yeah. It doesn't have to pass, but we'll let them do it. Because I don't think logistics space requires a law, so sure. I'll grant you an agenda. Cheer up. Don't want anyone um, protesting during the storm. That seems like it'd be pretty rough. Now it's our turn to decide. Yeah, so they, they seem to own certain districts or come from certain districts. Do we get to see where that is? Because these guys have 1,600 members. That's a pretty significant portion, isn't it? 14% of the city. And I'm pretty sure certain districts are owned by certain groups, but maybe it doesn't happen until later or something. Not too sure. Guess I'll have to wait and see. Unless I'm totally missing it somewhere, but I don't see it right now in the... Th so they're, for instance, rallying here. Dense housing district. Requirements, rallies in progress. We could disperse the rally, that's their output. We could expand the district. Yeah, I'm not saying seeing that they like specifically own it. Is there a factional overlay or anything? I could have sworn I saw one somewhere, but oh well, whatever. All right, we're almost there. Five weeks to go. Speed of time just a little bit. Now, what's our biggest problem right now? It's notable squalor. So what I'm hoping to do is kind of build up a lot of the material that we need into the stockpile and then when the storm hits maybe shut down some of those extra districts Ooh, actually I just realized something in research we now have the logistics base that's great 
Where did I see it? Waste heat conversion. This looks good. So heat recycling, right? So how can we stop wasting excess heat? That's the question. Um, so we have the foragers, the machinists, the ice bloods, and the technocrats. So we could again go with these guys. So heat output is extremely increased per extraction district, the expanded version of those, and the industrial district. So we have four extraction districts and one expand. Oh, sorry, and one industrial. Now, the machinists say that resource production efficiency is increased, so I like this. This sounds good from the ice fluids again, or from the foragers, which are slightly unhappy right now. Maybe we'll go with the foragers this time. They have the same thing, right? Same building, or same idea. Heat recycling. So this would have to be passed in the council if you want it to happen. So we'll develop the idea for free, and then maybe actually the ice fluids, when we've told them that they can do their thing, that's what they'll present, will they? Oh no, this is what they're presenting. Ceremonial funerals. Bodies must be buried untouched after a traditional funeral. So we'd already passed this in a different direction, didn't we? Yeah, because we're currently using harvesting funerals. So they're seeking to undo that, basically, by re-throwing it to the to the floor. So we'll pop, pop the vote down. I'm not going to influence it one way or the other. We'll let the people decide. I don't mind too much either way. If we get the extra research, that's great. But if they want to just leave the bodies buried untouched, go for it. You know, whatever the people want on that one. Sorry, guys. Not going to happen. Failed. But I did what you wanted. We we put it to the floor, you know. That's as fair as we can be. So what's the situation here? Ah, so the coal mine is actually starting to run out of its resource, so it's letting me know that. That's kind of good to know. Ah, we've got some sick people as well that are absent from our workforce as of right now. And that's it. It's week 190. The storm hits the city. Brittle wood. Materials production becomes inefficient. Well, that actually kind of works out, doesn't it? Material production... Oh my god. Negative 80 degrees. We're in the thick of it now. Oh. The rally thing is going down. I wonder is it ending or is it because of the storm, actually? Because it would make sense that you wouldn't want to be hanging around outside. I wonder is that true as well for the protests? Maybe you can put your boot on people's neck a bit more during whiteouts. It would make sense if you could. So let's check out the situation now. So we had built up nearly 50,000 stockpile of coal around that amount, uh, roughly speaking. And it seems like we are now burning 1,300 per day. So that's going to last us 13 weeks. So that is a good reason to maybe just turn off materials for a bit. So this place is... that's the fuel depot. Well, we need this one active to use the stockpile. We could turn this one off, maybe. So we'll turn that off. That should buy us back a bit more coal time. Now, food is actually stable, so I'm not worried about that. That's all good. Housing, we're currently... there's a little bit unfulfilled, which I feel bad for them, but we're not building a district just for four. Uh, for the sake of four. So materials. What's the time play? We're drawing from the stockpile 482 per day. It's going to last only three weeks. Now this is going to last us what? Uh, 20, uh, 30 weeks. Yeah, so it's 30 weeks of the storm. Got it. Okay. We just need the coal to last, basically, is what we're trying to work on here. It's going to last us 13 weeks. So what could we? what else could we turn off? I suppose things like the industrial districts. We've started to build up some stockpile. And everything we turn off reduces our heat demand, buying us back a bit more time. So in here, maybe the mechanized sawmill can go off as well. So now we've just given ourselves 33 weeks of coal. So that's good. As long as nothing else messes up, that should be fine. It looks like the foragers are quite unhappy. It looks like... Oh, that's so interesting. The coal has gone offline. Let's take a pull... Let's pull back a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't see anything. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, good thing we went this way, actually, because... Well, not that it matters now. Everyone's inactive anyway. But interestingly... 
we never set up a trail for this. I don't know if it's a bug in the game or just like that wasn't done yet or that's just the way it is, but we're still getting the 70 food here. It's still shipping back to the city, but this has stopped. And the reason I say, is it a bug, is because we never built a trail, whereas this one does have a trail coming back. So this is stopped, it says blocked by storm. But maybe because this isn't in the eye of the storm, it just still works, but I wonder if it had a trail, would it work, you know? And that music was cool and then just went off. What a shame. Anyway, we passed that idea. So we've got two weeks to go for the next law. Um, yeah, law to be passed. And that law is hopefully going to allow us to recycle heat from some of the um, extraction districts. We're still going to have the coal online, so we might as well get some heat back into the system. We're now... I don't know how this has dropped again so much, but it's only going to last us 15 weeks now. How's it gone from 33 down to 15? I don't know what happened. Scout training. We'll select the fittest candidates and train them in elite survival skills so they can remain adaptable. Exploration cost is decreased. That would be nice. Time is decreased. No, I think the cost needs to be decreased. So again, we'll go with the ice bullets here, or the foragers maybe, because they seemed a little less happy. Now, with all that said, we freed up workforce to allow us to build. So we'll do another logistics district down here. It's kind of crazy that you can actually build in the wideouts, isn't it? I feel like that'd be very challenging. You could do it in the previous game too, but it seems like it'd be rough. Maybe you do get more sickness if you're building during that time. Ooh, we're low on food. Uh, yeah, we could turn on this other... Sorry, this food district. That's back up to 220 now. We're still bringing... Oh, no, we're not. It has gone offline. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it must have been... The storm has moved over it now, so now it is inactive. Okay, sorry. Yeah, the storm is actually moving. I just assumed it was kind of, you know, static. Where it hits is where it hits, but the time is moving by and it is literally blowing across the frost line. That's awesome. It's good to see. It's actually a dynamic storm. Look at the state of this. <laughs> you can't see anything. All right, the vote on heat, heat recycling will be held in 10 weeks, so we can make it go through now. People are divided. Four are 50, so we just need one person who's hesitant to go on our side. Come on. I, th I think it'll happen. Don't need to promise anything. Who wouldn't want heat recycling? Why would you rather have nothing? <laughs> but I guess that's... Oh, come on. 54, 51 required. Yes! Got it. All right, we got it. Anyway, yeah, I just... I know it's all politics, right? But it's like, come on. How could you not want that? So, heat recycling means that now we're getting more heat from some of our... Yeah, so output 110 from the extraction districts. So we've got two of them active right now. I wonder does it tell me in here? Oh yeah, it says 50 heat. 50 heat. And this one is doing 50. So how are we getting 110? Although I don't get it. How is that the case? That Oh, because... A flat change to the amount of heat available. 50. 10. All right, so I've just been crunching some of the numbers and trying to understand exactly how I've just put myself in this situation right now. So we've got five weeks of coal remaining in the stockpile. We had 33 only a couple weeks ago. So I was like, geez, what have I done wrong? So um, I'll show you what I've done wrong. People might have already worked this out. I've no doubt you may have, but effectively we turned on an extra food district and then we got that technology slash past the law to allow for heat recycling to get a little bit back, a little bit of heat back out of our extraction districts, right? The yellow ones. So. Interestingly, you know, if we look at this coal district, we're getting 50 heat put out of it. I was like, sweet, that's awesome. And I thought, like, brilliant, we're going to turn on this food district, which consumes 160 heat, because here it tells me on the tooltip that we have 160 heat coming from extraction districts. So I was like, sweet, we have enough heat coming from the extractors that it can actually cancel out the heat demand from a single food district. So I really thought I'd worked everything out, everything clicked in my brain, and I was like, this is going to be perfect. Obviously, I made a mistake, and here's the mistake. It's the extractor districts that are doing wood and iron actually have a massive heat demand themselves. So while they are putting out 10 heat, and I only looked at the bonus, I didn't look at the drawback, which was still a tremendous amount, you know? So it's like, okay, so we're getting 10 back. That's great, but it's still consuming 230 then, isn't it? And that's what's after killing the, uh, the coal stockpile. Now, the coal extractors, that's providing 50 heat. It's not consuming any. 
but it is consuming materials, which is why I thought, okay, we'll have to turn on that material district, but that consumes heat. So it's a real, like, ah, you can't win, right? Or it feels that way, at least right now. What we could, if we had a, sig it's good to know, because if we had a significant stockpile of materials, you could keep just your coal extraction districts online through a storm, and then you're only getting heat, extra heat benefits. You're not having any of the drawbacks. So it's good to know. I just didn't know. But, you know, this is how we learn these things, I guess. And to be honest, this early in the game, we wouldn't have had all these different bonuses and things active to really make use of it that early. But, um, maybe. Anyway, so what we're going to have to do, I think, is we're going to turn this one off. We don't need... Well, we kind of do need it, but I can suffer a material shortage. It'll basically increase squalor. And hopefully we can just kind of mitigate that in other ways. So we'll turn this off. That lowers our coal consumption. So we bought ourselves nine weeks. We'll turn off the iron which is actually, interestingly, the iron is consuming materials, but it's providing 150 materials and it produces heat. Hmm, that's an interesting one. So only the wood sawmill. So what's consuming that? 60 heat demand from the mechanized sawmill and then 180 from the temperature being negative 80. But why doesn't this have any temperature demand? It's an extraction district, but it's an iron extraction district. I don't know if that makes any difference, but if we look at this, yeah, this one has a big heat demand, but this doesn't. Hmm. This has no heat demand whatsoever. It's online, right? People are in it and it is working. Well, we'll keep that one on then, I guess, but yeah, weird. Inconsistent or maybe it's just iron versus wood. Is this like purely mechanized or something? Like there's no one working there, but it's, I don't know. Anyway, we could go on about that for ages. Let's have a look at this event. The ice bloods are suggesting an action. Heat stamps. So we're struggling with heat stamps. A group of ice bloods have come forward with an idea. We should pass durable goods. Let us pursue it in the city. Let us pursue it and the city will benefit. They look with distrust at what other communities propose. They will surely appreciate getting behind their idea. If we promise them that relations will improve or disregard and the relations will worsen. Now, they're not that bad right now. They're neutral. So it could go either way, I suppose. It depends how badly. It says relations worsen. Sometimes it says significantly worsen. Relations slightly improve with the ice bloods if we do it. We already have something else, so I'm going to have to say no. But we can maybe look to appease them in other ways. It looks like they're right on the cusp of losing that next milestone. All right, so we've got a goods deficit. It actually makes me wonder, does this consume heat if it was online? No, but it consumes materials. And it does produce heat, actually. So we'll turn that back on. <laughs> and what's the building? The building will consume heat. So we'll keep the building off. Right, okay. All right, figuring it out. So we bought ourselves 11 weeks of coal. It's still gonna run out, though. The only other thing I think to, can think to do is shut down food the demand of heat there is quite quite large. People would have to go hungry for a little while. It's either go hungry or go cold. <laughs> while we're waiting, any districts we can expand? We could build another housing district because we're slightly low on shelter. Again, increasing the heat demand for them though. But we might as well get ahead of it. I feel like we're going to need it eventually. Can we expand this one? Yeah. Let's do that instead actually. These are the little pips, by the way, on the tooltip, right? Plus five heat in nearby housing warmth. But it's just staying at one. It's not changing, actually, this one. Okay, fair enough. All right, we're expanding that district out. Dense housing district was dam damaged due to excessive squalor and it needs repair. For 100 heat stamps, okay. It needs to repair that ASAP. Oh, that was, okay, it was instant. Fair enough. It's a bit strange, an entire district just needs repair. I guess if it's squalid, it's built up over time, it kind of makes sense. Oh! Sorry, I'm such an idiot. We expanded this, we can build that building. Let's get that extra bit of coal now. Extraction, the grinding coal mine. So squalor again increased, demand for materials, so we're going to be bringing in a lot of squalor. But at least the coal should be okay if they get that done in time. Research complete for the Pathfinder Scouts. A new policy is being proposed by the foragers. Council is in recess. 
Railways. A heated railway track. Wow. Unlocks railroad connection can be built in the Frostland, allowing to ship more resources from colonies and outposts. Well, ultimately, it seems like we do need to do that, but I don't think we're going to get there in this demo. Frankly. Because that says it'll take 21 weeks. Like, there's only 100 weeks left to go. I wonder... I don't know. If you unlock that idea, you research that idea, you can put that to the vote, right? Do you, I assume then you must have to get this idea again, this one, to then put that to the vote if you want to. Right? Otherwise you must only have ever one option, I would assume. I'm assuming that's how it works, which is kind of interesting. It just means that you'd have to put time into research twice, really, for the same things. And I guess that just heavily, again, puts you down a path of who you're going to go with and try to um, appease. We could make them a promise or promote them publicly. Relations greatly improved. They'll grow in numbers and gain another six seats. Okay. Just don't want anyone protesting. Can't handle it. Steward, I'm promoting them. Hey, look at the ice splits. Up to 14% though. It's so funny, and the technocrats at 15. You can see how they're... What they're doing to me. Now, the interesting thing with that technology we just looked at, or the idea, was that only it's only the radicals that put forth that idea, rather than the foragers or the machinists. 37 more people are sick and unable to work. And do we have that extra coal going? We do. So now, coal is lasting 14 weeks. Okay, we've really throttled it. And that's enough. That should be enough to get us through, actually. Although this is flashing red, though, for some reason. Why would that be? Oh my god, 2,279 people are living among us now. More people have just arrived. Oh my god. That's not a good time during a whiteout. So the shelter space has gone down. The coal burn has actually increased because there's more heat demand for the extra people that we have. Interesting. All right, all due maintenance, a new policy proposed by the technocrats. So just out of curiosity, if we go into the law screen now and the economy tab, we have maintenance duty. So all due maintenance. Yeah, it's just the one option. So obviously the other option needs to be researched as well. I, it would almost be interesting if you could f like put the proposal out there. It's like, okay, it could go with this one or this one. You know, the two options that you end up getting. And they vote on which one it's going to be. Rather than voting on nothing or one thing. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, look guys, we've got two ideas here. Can we have a vote to decide which idea passes? That seems like it would make a bit more sense in some regards. If if you had both ideas unlocked, anyway. Yeah, so it's interesting. I think I will go with the other side of this idea, just to see if anything can potentially happen. I, I don't think so, but I'm just kind of curious. In the demo, I like to play around with these things. But um, it's interesting because we don't know which one's better. Materials demand is significantly decreased. So let's say we had demand of 100, and now the demand is 75. Great, we brought it down 25%. That's a significant decrease in my mind. We don't know the number. But this one says materials demand is slightly decreased, slightly decreased, but resource efficiency is increased. So you might end up actually making more materials to offset the demand. You know, it could end up being the same, but it'd be interesting to know the raw numbers, which one's actually stronger. But anyway, we'll do it with that idea as well. Why the hell not? <laughs> Forager's session incoming. Let's see what this event's about. The techno technocrats demand vote on all due maintenance. Steward, the technocrats have just drafted the all due maintenance law. Our customary practice would be to hold a vote on it at first opportunity, but another group has already been given the right to set the current agenda. The technocrats graciously agree to forego their customary res uh, research privilege, but trust you will grant them the agenda in the near future to compensate it. You have 15 weeks to grant them their agenda. That's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. People have asked what the trails are in the comments, like the trails of light. And they were saying like, is it cars or something? No, if you pause time and zoom in, it, there are people running around. I guess the light effect is supposed to be lanterns. It's like a time-lapse effect, right? You know, if you see a time-lapse of cars going up and down a road or whatever, you'll see that kind of, that kind of streaky trails of light. And the idea is that they went for a time-lapse effect for people's lanterns. So you can see them kind of going back and forth to various districts. And then when they're angry, it's like a really red lantern. I guess like fire is burning or whatever. I don't know. It's just to kind of delineate who's happy and who isn't. Right, anyways, I think it's a really cool effect, actually. But I've never seen it before done like that in a game. Um, 
Alright, so, now that the storm has lifted, temperature's gone back down to 40, so that's good. Let's check out this event. Close the door. Accept all outsiders. Steward, more people seek refuge from the frost in our city every day. Yet many question whether it's wise to continue to allow this. We've not found work for the idle hands we've got already. So why are we still letting the folks settle? Just more useless mouths to feed, said one angry resident. A cross-community group of delegates has drafted a new law which forbid which would forbid any new settlement of outsiders in the city. Do you wish to put it to the council's agenda? No, I don't want that. So that's just people saying that. It's not even like a particular group or anything. We will not vote on this at the moment. No, it's fine. We'll put them to work. There's 2,400 people. We'll get them to work. Okay, we can reactivate some of our districts here. We'll reactivate this one. Turn the depot off, because we really don't need it for now. Coal, that's doing its thing. Uh, it's really just the goods now, isn't it? So turn the goods back on, sorry, and this building on as well. So everything's pretty much gaining except for food. We could build the building for hothouses. The Biowaste Drum Hothouse, which again increases disease. We'll pop it into this, this food district. That should be the extra food that we need. And if we turn on our districts again, it should reactivate one of the ration bunkers that we have. I don't know which one is needed, actually. Not enough workforce just yet. Let time play. Is this one active? No. If I'm, Actually, if anything, if we're going to activate any of them, this would be the one that you'd want active. Alright, so the, the blizzard is still just moving out across some of our things, but the coal should be back online. We're just bleeding through the rest of it now. Uh, let's check out this event. The whiteout has passed. We made it through the storm, but it was relatively short. When the next one comes, it'll be worse. In the past, whiteouts devastated all our expansion attempts. We mustn't let that happen again. We must find a permanent source of fuel before another, more severe one comes our way. All right, it's only a matter of time before another hits us. Week 222, there's only 78 weeks left to go in the demo. And we're currently hurting for people to get into the city here. Now, just out of curiosity, we currently have 15 available teams. Five are required for that, and that means that 10 are still going to be available to go out and look for something. This requires 16, so it looks like we've lowered that number. It's gone down by four. Too dangerous to chart out that way, and then this one, yeah, that's 16 as well. So, oh, we're one team member short, which is so annoying. It's such an awkward, uneven number that they lowered it by. I don't know why they wouldn't just lower it by 5 or 10 or something even, but it's obviously a percentage of 20. Uh, 20%, I guess. Alright, so the extra food is now done. So housing could be better. We need a new housing district. And do we have the people to build it? We actually don't. Materials is also still a little bit short, but coal is huge, right? We don't need maybe the other grinding coal mine active. Just activate just one. So that gives us enough workforce back to build a new housing district once we get the money, right? Yeah, we just need a few more heat stamps. The ice bloods are actually favorable with us right now, so that's good. I guess. I don't really like them. Although I say that, some of their ideas are okay, I suppose. <laughs> they have no fervor. Fervor measures how many radicals are active. Man, I consider them to be radical. These radicals increase tension, but can be called on to perform special actions. Oh, we just had 51 more people get sick. Now I don't have enough to build a damn district. Oh, we do, do. Just have enough. It's only 200 to build a housing district. Yeah, so generator proximity and nearby housing warmth. So one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. So that's ten heat, I think, because I got... I got two of the um, pips full, I think, there. So we should have a little bit of heat demand reduced. Yeah, negative five from generator proximity and negative five from nearby housing. So that's good. It actually encourages you to build around it in a radius then. So instead of blocks of district, you should just probably build long districts to go across. That's actually kind of interesting. It's kind of like how it was. What just happened? Did someone die? No. I just heard that bell and I was worried. All right, we're bringing in food again from... The ration bunker for a little while and the remaining the remaining coal unproductive due maintenance has been put on the agenda by the ice bloods uh let people vote material demands is slightly decreased resource production efficiency is slightly increased i don't want to make prom promises we'll just see which way it goes 
The unproductive will do maintenance. The nose oh, so close. Again, we seem to be... Am I an idiot? But we're always seemingly one person who's, like, abstaining. Unless it is a council of 99. And maybe I'm the person who has a, a vote? Oh, that could be the case, actually. Maybe. Stockpiling, stockpiling, stockpiling. You love to see it. We're hitting everything right now, except for a little bit of shelter. And we've just built that extra district. We know that we're going to need another one, though, so we may as well get another one building. Need another 100 heat stamps. Oh, we've got it now. So, again, we can get... One... Two... That's generator proximity, housing proximity. And there? Yes, yeah, so it's not like a perfect line. So it's almost like it wants a double line for each one. Promise to the technocrats broken. Because you're... Oh, no. I'm so sorry. So that was to floor their agenda onto the council. I thought it was automatically going to do it. Because the... Yeah, I'm a bit confused about that, because the ice blows put theirs out automatically. I didn't even really have a say in that. Uh, something I'm just going to do anyway for fun. It'd be nice to get the rail hub going. Could we do that? Railways. Yeah, let's get the railways. Oh, we need 100. Damn. I'd like to see trains if we could get that in the demo. That'd be nice for the next episode, maybe. Well, while we're waiting, if we can do something that's cheaper or free, we have scout training harvester hangers. I found one that's free up here. The Apex Workers. So the Ice Bloods are saying, This harsh world is no place for weakness. We'll solely rely on the fittest and strongest workers and push them to achieve their maximum potential. The heat demand is decreased, and the resource production efficiency is increased. The technocrats say machine attendants are better. Machines will take over the burden of work from humans. Workplaces will be optimized for machines, with workers re reg uh, relegated to maintenance roles. So the workforce requirement will be decreased. I think I prefer that. <laughs> so let's go with them. We just upset them as well, so let's do their idea. Ooh, we got a controversy about this decision. Stuart, our guards have apprehended a researcher named Max Horkheimer, who Bitmark in my uh, Discord actually said is a real person, and the timeline is slightly off, apparently. He should be older or something? Anyway, it's a, I don't know. Apparently it's a real person, though. Uh, he was caught trying to destroy documents regarding machine attendance. During interrogation, he said, With this research, we opened the gates to insanity and extreme extremity. It should be destroyed. Never thought of again. Technocrats call him a lunatic, not to be listened to. They deem his research to be essential for the city's prosperity. What should be done? Hmm. Continue and fire researchers who object. Relations worsen with the foragers and the ice blitz. Research speed is extremely decreased. Now, not to be um, stereotypical, but I kind of didn't think the ice blitz or the foragers were really on the research side of things. But I guess that some of them are researchers. Uh, continue, but allow objections. So tension is going to be increased, and research speed will be extremely decreased. So no matter what happens, we're decreasing research by an extreme amount unless we just cancel that completely. We should never have begun researching it. All right, cancel it then, I guess. But can we not just pop that in again then? What would happen if I just did it again? Okay, I've just clicked it again, just to see. Well, apparently nothing, but we'll see. Maybe there's an event for passing it anyway. Max Horkheimer might come back. But it could be another one of those overlooked things, I think. Ooh, we've got 10 available. Is there anywhere we can go for 10? This one's only 8 to go to the plains. So let's do that. Safe char territory, fast to chart, free frostland teams required. A vast expanse of relatively low elevation. All right, we're sending out a team. New housing district's just about to be done. Sheltering everybody, but also increasing our heat demand. Resource deposits are full for coal now, which means we can turn on this. We just had enough workforce for that, so we're now able to stockpile a little bit of extra coal. Another 30,000. How's the resources here, by the way? How many weeks do you have left? 87 weeks on that, and 270. Okay, well, it's more than we have even for the demo, so we're totally fine there. Alright, things are looking good. I'm really wanting to bring in more people and also reduce the workforce just so we can again get more buildings down. 
That's where I'm at right now, basically. Are we stockpiling goods? We are, just a little bit. Seven per day. So it takes 500 weeks to fill that stockpile. But hey, it's something. As long as things are positive and you're stockpiling, I guess it's good. When things are even, it's not, not so great. We're even stockpiling um, materials right now, which is, which is awesome. 45 more people sick and unable to work. Oh, no. Disabled. Lack of required deposit. They actually exhausted the food. Uh-oh. Wow. Didn't realize that. So we're now eating from the stockpile. But it means we can actually demolish this district, right? There's nothing to do here anymore. Half shifts and emergency shift. Don't need to activate anything. We'll just to demolish it. But that has freed up workforce now to do other things, I guess. So we could turn on another logistics district. Maybe if we have the money, pop in a logistics bay, but we need a bit more workforce still. All right, well, how many people do we have now? We've got 12 teams. It's still just not enough. All right, we've got 10 on this one. What I'm going to try and do, because we just need that awkward number, is if we expand the district, we should get a little extra out of them. So maybe that'll be enough to go out to one of the deposits that has 16 requirements, right? Because currently we've got 12. And uh, we're currently also exploring the planes. It's going to take 13 weeks to finish that. Now, what do we have? In the economy tab, accepting all outsiders. The question was, do we want to rethink that? No, I'm fine with that. Um, maintenance duty. So materials demand is significantly decreased or materials demand is slightly decreased. Yeah, so we want to go significantly decreased, I think. Could do it themselves. Actually, you know what? We'll negotiate for this one. I'd like this one to go through. So, more of the foragers are hesitant than the machinists. So, let's go with the foragers for negotiation. So, I want you to vote for it. And... You want me to repeal mass machine-adjusted shifts or demolish a mechanized sawmill? Well, we could grant you an agenda. How about that? That's going to bring us to 51, which means the vote will go through. Easy. All right, everyone's doing a bit of maintenance, okay? All right, so is it wise for the steward to listen to them? I think so. That's going to be significant decrease to our materials demand. Yeah, so we're stockpiling a lot more now. An extra, like, 50 than we were before, I think. Something like that. So that's good. Machine attendance. New policy proposed by the technocrats. The steward promised them some nonsense. <laughs> And we're demolishing this district. We've got 400 people available, but 288 are sick. We don't have anything in the way of hospital beds or anything like that, I don't think. And we're adding more Frostland teams here. Alright, so with more teams available, that's 15 output now. So now we've got 17, which is enough to start expanding again towards the hills. Challenging territory. We get coal and goods out here. The glacier requires 16. Possible findings, food. Yeah, let's go further out this way. It's quite a long distance. 28 weeks to get there. And by the time we get there, actually, can we cancel that? Yeah, you can. By the time we get there, like, this demo is going to be over. So maybe we could just go for one of the ones that's closer. That's 32. 32. Another 32. We can maybe do some of them if we just bank our teams right now and we wait for the coal to run out. Or we could even stop the coal, I suppose. Can you do that? You could just turn that off. That would get us back 10. Then we'd have 27. The food would get us back 5. So we'd be up to 32, which is exactly what we need to go out to one of these places. But they're almost done. Anyway, so I guess just wait 10 weeks for that and 5 weeks. So we'll wait 10 weeks and then we're going to send out these teams to some of the harder places to reach. And we're still tracking out this way as well. All right. What do you got for me? Nell Sinkfield, 38, a housewife. Worried about her son. She's looking for a culprit. Little Joey's been coughing all night. His forehead's as hot as the generator. It's them Turners. I know it's them. They've got that new flu. And here they are, strolling about the neighborhood, carrying on with their business. They're killing people. That's what they're doing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, please, Lord Almighty, I can't stand to lose another child. Someone's got to get through to them. Lack of a law regulating contagion prevention is causing tension in the city. Yeah, so we'd seen this before. Contagion prevention. 
Here we are, it's in the economy tab. Contagion prevention. Disease is decreased and tension is increased if you have an infection badge or supported quarantine. Contagious people will be placed in quarantine. The city will provide them with extra food rations. I feel like that's the right thing to do. Shelter per capita is slightly decreased. It says slightly, so I hope it's not too bad. We do have a little excess right now, so we'll try to be nice and go with supported quarantines rather than forcing people to wear badges. Yeah, I just, you know, I think that's the right thing to do. Got a lot of money now, but I'm just struggling to think of what we could build. We do have 400 workers that could be doing something. If we could clear up the sick people, we could actually activate even another logistics bay. Because you need 600 to work it. We have 600, but some of them are sick. Uh, I suppose in the meantime also we could think of expanding. So, how many workers does this take now that it's expanded? That's interesting. So you can expand the district and the requirements for the workforce stay the same. And it takes 50 materials. Does this also take 50? It does. Wow, the requirements for this are huge though because we have a logistics bay in there. Wow. Actually, let me just check that building. That gives us 15 teams for 600 people. Whereas a standard would only give you 10. Okay, so it is actually more efficient to have the building in there and have the building active. But yeah, expanding the district I think would be a good idea just generally. We have the money. It doesn't hurt the workforce. It's just a matter of building it. So let's do that. We could do it just out for here as well. Oh, sh crap. Can I cancel that? I don't think I can. I've kind of built over towards the iron ore a bit. I just hope it's not too bad. Not that it, I don't think it... Well, we still have the actual thing here, so I think it's okay. A little risky, though. Yeah, it's interesting to learn that. I never really considered it, that you could just expand your districts to get, like, a little bit more out of them. Uh, we, if we want to expand this district, we'd have to do some frost breaking. All right, doing a few different things now. That's good. Expand this. So one, two, three. So it should give us more food. Although there's a finite amount, of course. So that'd be the worry or the fear. Disease weakens our workforce. I know. I know. I know. This continues, it'll endanger our ability to sustain the city. We're working on it. Well, kind of, are we? I suppose we're not really working on solutions to disease. Hospitals. Hospitals would be nice. 20 heat demand, 200 workforce. Institution that provides medical treatment to sick and injured to speed up their recovery. I like the ice bloods idea, actually. Disease is significantly decreased and pop growth is slightly increased. Workforce requirement is 200, but it has a lot of heat demand. 40. But less workers. I like their idea. We'll go with them. A recovery hospital. I love this. This game's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait for the full release. Dealing with oil. Seeing. I wonder how many weeks will be in like the actual story or like the long running version of the game. Because the fact that it must be like decades. Several decades, right? You would assume. Because the time it must take to colonize the frostland, set up colonies, have rail networks and stuff. Holy crap. Can you imagine? Extreme policy on agenda. The current policy on agenda goes beyond what the common citizen finds acceptable. It'll be more difficult to pass than others, and once enacted, it'll radicalize both for and against factions in your society. Oh, wow. For machine attendance, really? I guess it's a big thing. We're bringing in robots. There's 48 people against it. The workforce requirements de decrease. We could negotiate again. So the foragers will not negotiate. Nor will the technocrats or ice splits, but the people who are for it will. They're not all for it. 13 machinists. It's not enough to persuade just 13 who are hesitant. Because that'd just be 44. You'd almost have to do the old pressure all of them. Hurting relations with everyone. Let's do it. We're up to 47. It's still not potentially enough. The hesitancy is 8 in the middle. It could go either way. Let's roll the dice. Come on. We need it now. It's a sunken cost, right, for us, because... Oh, yes! Oh, oh, 50... Oh, yeah, sorry, 51. I was going to say 51 voted against for a second. It says 51 required, of course. Wow, so it did pass literally down to the man. 
or the woman, the individual. Everyone, everyone's vote mattered on that one, big time. Now, it's gonna radicalize some people. Your, your playthrough's gonna end in 50 weeks. Oh my god. Right, I think we'll have to leave it there. That was a pretty fun vote, but we have the Ice Bloods now are quite skeptical again. We'll have to do things to boost their favor. What I'm gonna try and do for the next episode is rush towards Rail Tech, if we can just see it, perhaps. And uh, we've just also found the Sour Vineyard. So we'll check out what this is, and our Frostland teams will check in on all that in the next episode. We're going to go out of the colony a bit more and have a look at what's going on. The next whiteout actually happens right before the demo ends. <laughs> so we'll have one more storm to look forward to, I guess. But one good thing is that we have lots of coal in the bank. It's actually tempting to build another stockpile for it, just to have even more ready. All right, it's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.